remember, uh, for our striking workers in California, they don't get unemployment. I'm the chairman of the fund of the of the Entertainment Community Fund, chairman of the board, and um, I just wanted to send the message out there to all these people on strike that we have a fund at the Entertainment Community Fund for people in show business who are in financial hardship. It's uh, being contributed to by IATSE, by individuals. We thank everybody who contributes. If you can contribute, thank you. If you need some uh, emergency cash, please apply to the Entertainment Community Fund. We, uh, we're there for you. very concerned. We want a reasonable solution. Everybody that's out here today wants a solution. Um, and, but we are in solidarity together for a fair wage, um, data transparency, fair uh, residuals. Um, we have a lot of issues that mean a lot to us. So um, uh, I, I really feel for people who are in financial hardship. The most financial hardship in the country uh, for this strike is in Los Angeles. Workers here do not have unemployment insurance. We're here to uh, support all our fellow actors and actually also the Writers Guild of America uh, because um, things have changed and uh, the pay structure hasn't changed for so many people. Donald and I have been very, very lucky in this industry, but um, it's important, that's the whole point of a guild, is to come together. It doesn't matter if you're The Rock or you're a background performer, everyone needs to come together and, and support uh, all our fellow actors so this can become a, an industry where people can maintain a, a decent living wage. I mean, there's so many uh, there are, you said it, there are so many issues, but I think the whole AI situation is one. I think being able to make a living getting residuals, something that we used to get a lot of uh, back in the day, which helped us uh, sustain uh, a life. If you just, let's say we're only on maybe three, let's say you got lucky and we're on three or four shows guest starred and they aired again, you get paid again and those days are over. and. You know, uh, it's very hard for people to make a living uh, doing this anymore. Uh, again, we're not talking about us. We're talking about so many people that uh, that haven't been as lucky as we are. I heard a stat recently that only 12 percent of SAG-AFTRA makes the twenty-six thousand dollars that's the minimum to qualify for health insurance every year. So we're here for people like that. I'm trying not to get emotional about it and get upset about it and everything like that. But I don't want to die and then all of a sudden still be in movies and my family not see any money for that or you know I don't want my likeness to be you know I, I don't want people saying things for me uh, that I probably wouldn't want to say or wouldn't say I, I don't want things like that I don't you know I want to be if you are going to put me in a movie I want to have stipulations I want I want my family to see money on me. Although I would love to have an AI version of you. I would love to have an no, AI. I would just use it for myself I wouldn't I wouldn't try to make money on it. Well, you know, and we'll talk about it we'll privately. Talk about it, yeah. no, All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. In the.